Welcome back to another training vlog, guys. Uh, sorry for the lack of videos this week. I had a couple exams that I had to uh, study for, and um, the weather just wasn't that great this week, so didn't get to head out to the track on Wednesday like I normally do, and um, honestly, it was so cold and rainy, I didn't get to road bike or anything like that either. Just did some gym workouts. But now, it's Friday. That means it's the start of the weekend, and that means we're going to the track today, so um, this will be, I think, the third training vlog that I've done so far, so uh, it'll be a similar format to the first one I did. Um, gonna head out to the track, uh, do a couple motos. I think I'm gonna try and do some longer, slower motos today, um, just to get kind of back in the, in the vibe of doing some 30-minute motos. But anyways, we're gonna start out this day like I usually do, get a little bit of warm-up in and some stretching, and I'll run you guys through my warm-up routine, basically, kind of just start off with like a super easy cardio, like five to 10 minutes on the, um, either the rowing machine, going for like a little jog or on the trainer. This morning I'll be hopping on the trainer and um, then we'll be doing some stretching. So uh, we'll just jump right into that and I'll show you guys my morning warm up routine. All right, so when I start stretching, I like to start with my muscles and tendons at the very bottom of my body and work all the way up to the top just so that um, I don't forget anything. If I kind of do random muscle groups here and there, I always end up forgetting to do some of them. So I start at the bottom with my toes and my feet, work up to the ankles, calves, hamstrings, um, quads, glutes and hips, and then core and upper body. So start off with the toes. is back in the vlog today guys I know some of you were upset that she wasn't in the last one so she's back don't worry but anyways we are all ready to rip so we're heading out the door right now um, we're gonna head back to Florida tracks and trails today for like the hundredth time sorry I'm sure you guys are kind of getting sick of just seeing the local tracks around me but um, it's the only place open around here on Fridays and honestly between 74 family fun park Florida tracks and trails those are really like the only two tracks that are really close to me so they are definitely sick tracks but it's kind of limited on that front but uh, I'm gonna make an effort to get out to some different tracks here pretty soon um, just once the school schedule kind of calms down get some of these exams out of the way we'll hit some new tracks um, also I'm sure you guys notice wearing the alias shirt today in loving memory <laughs> I'm sure most of you have heard by now or saw the post from Alias saying that they were going to be um, kind of taking the company in a new direction, which as much as it sucks, you got to kind of respect the decision of Eric to kind of do what he wants with the company rather than what he feels everyone else wants him to do. So that's definitely pretty cool. Um, he could have easily just kept making gear and uh, been miserable, but he decided to do what he really wanted to do and uh, follow his heart, I guess. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll definitely still be repping Alias in the future and whatever they start making, whether it's casual wear or whatever. Um, so I'll definitely still be supporting them, hopefully running them as a sponsor, and uh, I hope you guys will too. So definitely stay supporting him. Eric's a really awesome guy, and um, yeah, I wish the best for him. But of course, that kind of asks the question, and a lot of you guys have been asking me what gear I'm going to be wearing this season, um, and the answer is I, I really don't know yet. Um, 
it kind of didn't happen at the best time. Uh, it kind of put me in an awkward situation where most of the big companies kind of aren't accepting resumes for the 2019 season anymore. Um, so I can't, I'm trying to kind of talk to some of my resources and figure out a deal. Um, but it also kind of puts me in a unique position where I can like test out a bunch of different gear companies because I'm not obligated to run uh, one thing over another. So kind of cool, it could make for some good videos coming up here uh, where I'll be testing out some like smaller companies gears and um, testing them out, seeing if maybe I want to go with a smaller company and uh, help them out this season. So um, yeah, the answer is I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing for gear yet, but hopefully I'll figure it out real soon. And in the meantime, I'll be reviewing a couple of cool little gear companies who wanted to help out with the channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'll be posting a video just whenever the gear gets here and I get a chance to rip in it. So stay tuned for that, it should be pretty cool. And um, on the subject of gear and what I'll be wearing, um, that kind of segues into the next topic, which is possible merchandise for the channel. Um, we're getting kind of big now. You guys are absolutely killing it by keeping up with like subscribing and watching the videos and stuff. Um, I know we're almost up to like 17,000 subscribers now, which it kind of feels like maybe it'll be time soon to get some merch on the way. I don't know, what do you think, Bridge? So, I don't know, if that's something you guys would be interested in, um, let me know because it would be, it'd be pretty cool to start selling some stuff to help further support uh, the effort this season. So, yeah, if you guys would be down to, to buy some shirts or whatever, or some hats or something, definitely let me know and uh, maybe we'll make that happen pretty soon. So, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, we have arrived. We've been getting some good rain this week, like I was saying, so the track should be really, really sick. Um, dude, honestly, this place is just insane. So, so over here, we have the amateur track. Pro track's just up over that hill, which they don't really groom it too often. Um, maybe just like once a month or so, they have a ride day out there. They still let people go out and ride on the pro track whenever they want, but like it's all rain rutted out from the rain and everything. Um, so this is the beginner track. They have another like side-by-side -side track way back over there. And then way over there, they have like a beach area. You can hang out, leave your wife and kids. So if you've never been out here, definitely come check it out. It's, it's definitely a sick place. Uh, definitely worth it to come check it out. All right guys, we are kitted up, ready to rip. Bike's all ready to go. Um, like I said earlier, I'm gonna try and up the motos a little bit today, the length of the motos that is. Um, you know, the season, the outdoor season's still pretty far away, but it's time to start upping those, that moto length, getting used to those 30s again, so. <laughs> yeah. I think it's been since the Indiana National since I did a 30 minute moto, so we might try one out today. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright, this will be my first time trying to ride with the mic on. Um, I kind of thought it would be cool if you guys could hear me talk a little bit while I'm out there if something gnarly happens. Or even just like when I'm riding up to the track, sometimes it's hard to hear me. So, I don't know if this will be any better or not. Um, or maybe it'll pick up the engine noises cooler. Not really sure, but we'll go find out. All right, well, that just did not work at all. <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I ride with the mic on, um, on the dirt bike, it makes some crazy static noise. I'll put up a quick clip just to spare you guys uh, the ear pain that you're gonna experience when you hear this. It's really weird, I don't know why it does this, but whatever, I guess we can't run the mic while I'm riding, which is fine. Um, but you guys didn't miss much, just did a little 10 minute warm up. Um, just gonna chill for a minute, get some water, and then head back out and do some longer motos. Pro tip right here, guys. Gotta keep a stack of these boys in the goggle bag for these long motos. Forgot how much I sweat. Thanks to Bridge for donating the old maxi pads. <laughs> you bought those yourself. Just pop them right in the forehead. Getting a phone call. And you're good to go. No more sweat in the eyes right there, folks. That's how you do it. <laughs> also, I don't know how common it is for people to wear earplugs when they ride, but I cannot ride without earplugs. So, I don't know. I, I would recommend trying it out. It just kind of keeps me in the zone and uh, Honestly, my ears would just like ring after after long motos on the 250 especially. So, 
it's just super nice to wear them and uh, I've gotten so used to them now that like I honestly cannot ride without them um, if I even ride up to the track without them in uh, I get like a headache and I feel like I'm, my bike's about to explode so I don't know if you guys ride with them let me know and uh, you should definitely try it out I highly recommend it it's good enough for Tomac it's good enough for you <laughs> All right, boys, going out for second long moto. Got the maxi pad up in there. <laughs> Telling you, try it out. You will be stoked. Get it. All right, start of our first 30. Goodness, wow. 
That was gnarly, guys. All right, guys. First 30 minute moto of the year. <laughs> we got some work to do, that's for sure. But luckily, I mean, actually for, for it only being February, February 1st, I'm kind of stoked on that, really. I've never been able to do a moto that long this early in the year. Um, you know, every other year I didn't have a bike down here to ride, so I would just start riding in May and then pretty much hit red bud a, like a month after I started riding. And then just last year I was kind of busy doing the supercross stuff. Um, January through March and then I got hurt at Tampa and was off the bike for a couple weeks so I've never really come into a season like prepared like even even half prepared really so this is this is definitely I'm on good pace here um just the fact that I can finish a 30 on the 450 at this point in the year I'm definitely stoked with but lots and lots of work to do how'd I look out there bridge you're ripping yeah those last couple laps, I felt a little squirrely. Yeah, you were a little bit. <laughs> Blowing out ruts and everything, but whatever. We'll get there. Um, we're going to chill for a little bit, eat some lunch, and then go out and do another one. <laughs> Probably won't film that one just because I definitely got plenty of riding footage, and it's only going to get worse from here, boys. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that'll be it for the riding footage, but I'll go out and bust out another moto. So, yeah. Stomach cramps are real. Got a lot of work to do. Not too stoked on that effort. Luckily we got a lot of time before the season. So we're just back up at the little gym right now. Uh, I'm gonna top off the day with some core and balance workouts. Uh, my body's pretty wrecked from those motos, so I'm just gonna keep it nice and light so I can uh, moto some more this weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna start out with a little bit of core. Uh, I'm gonna incorporate some balance work into it um, using these like big yoga balls and the uh, BOSU ball over there. So you guys will just get an insight on my core workouts and how I train for balance. So anyways, without any further ado, we're just gonna jump right into this.
So for this one, I basically do a plank on the, uh, the BOSU ball. And then this works really well if you have like a tennis ball, but all we have up here is uh, these little medicine balls. So set the medicine ball up right in the middle and then you plank on it and you try and get the ball to do rotations around this way, stop, and then rotate it around the other way, stop, and just keep doing that. Like I said, it works good if you have like a tennis ball or a ping pong ball. This is a little harder because it's a little heavier, but we'll give it our best shot. <laughs> So for the rest of the workout, I'm just gonna do um, a bunch of different balancing exercises on the yoga balls. Um, so it'll just be a random assortment of things, just kind of whatever I feel like doing. Um, one thing I do always do though, is I try and go from a sitting um, position on the yoga ball balancing and uh, rotating around to getting on my knees. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Um, it's super, super hard, but it takes a lot of like control and core balance to pull it off. So. Uh, you'll see me attempting that quite a few times. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to do it for the core and balance workout. Um, feel free to try any of those out, let me know how you like them. Uh, like I said, I didn't I didn't go too gnarly today just because um, the motos and everything, my body is pretty trashed already and I want to ride quite a bit this weekend. Um, haven't really gotten to ride so much the past couple of weeks, um, just battling that like coolant problem we were having and the rain and just exams and everything. So. Um, this weekend I really want to focus on just getting a lot, a lot of riding time in. So uh, we're going to go to a pretty sick private track on Sunday. Um, and we'll probably shred the 125 there, so that'll be pretty sick. Um, and then we should go to 74 on Monday. I don't have school on Monday, so um, that's, what, that's what it's looking like. I'm going to get some more long motors in this weekend. Uh, really looking forward to that. And we'll probably vlog like at least three days. Um, so today included, so I'll probably do two more vlogs this weekend and uh, probably a 125 video. So yeah, that'll pretty much wrap it up for, for this uh, vlog. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, follow us on Instagram, me and B Unit. She's putting in the work with me, <laughs> keep me on track. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the merch like I was talking about earlier, if that's something you guys be, would be interested in doing. Um, I definitely am interested in that. I think it would be pretty cool. Um, you guys could kind of help support my effort this season. And um, let me know what gear you want to see me run this season. Uh, like I said, it's kind of past like the application resume um, period for most companies. So, I mean, I'm either going to go with kind of a smaller brand who are down to help out or I might just kind of be buying my own gear uh, this season. So if it comes down to that, I'm pretty much have free range to pick whatever I want, basically. So um, let me know what you guys want to see me in. Tell me why. I'm a huge stickler for glove fitment. I kind of have like long, slender hands. Um, so they always like pull off my pinky while I'm riding. So glove fitment is huge. So if you guys have any recommendations for like glove brands or gear brands that have really good fitting gloves, I'm all about that. So uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for tuning in for another video, guys. Um, we'll stay on the grind this weekend, pump out some more videos for you, and uh, be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and follow to, to see more content. So peace out, guys. We'll see you next time.